Welcome to the Warhammer 40,000 Chronicles. I am Faust Kellow and today I want to talk to you about an exceptional and revered group of warriors within the ranks of the Primary Space Marines. The Blade Guard Veterans. These extraordinary individuals play a crucial role within their respected chapters, embodying the essence of ancient Terran Knights while embracing the cutting edge technologies of the 41st millennia. As part of a distinguished veteran squad, a Blade Guard veteran has a remarkable prowess in melee combat. They are Primaris Marines who have earned the prestige privilege to serve in the elite first company of a Primaris only Space Marine chapter. Raised during the Ultima founding or later, additionally some Blade Guard veterans may be found in the first companies of already existing chapters. Fighting alongside their firstborn brethren, or they may be veterans who have bravely embraced the transformation of crossing the Rubicon Primaris. Picture in your mind these legendary warriors. Like a modern incarnation of a noble knight from ancient tales. Adorned with advanced technology and armed with powerful blades and great shields. They stand as a symbol of indomitable determination. Their commitment to their duty is unwavering, and they march forward fearlessly, reflecting the very essence of valorous chivalry. That is a Blade Guard veteran. Each one of these seasoned Space Marines has a wealth of experience, earned through countless battles fought across various worlds, all in the name of preserving the Imperium of Man. Their journey to become a Blade Guard veteran is a testament to their unwavering dedication to our cause, and it fills our hearts with admiration and gratitude. In the wake of the Great Rift's cataclysmic birth, known as the Cicatrix Melodictum, the Imperium of Man found itself facing an unprecedented threat on multiple fronts. To counter this looming apocalypse, the Primarch Rabute Gilliman, the Lord Commander of the Imperium, initiated the Adominus Crusade. The goal was to launch a massive offensive and secure the Imperium's precious borders. As part of this crusade, Gilliman called upon an ancient project of Archmagos Dominus Belisarius Call to reveal the Primaris Space Marines, a new breed of transhuman warriors. The Primaris Marines represented an evolution of the standard Adeptus Astatis, possessing enhanced physical abilities and improved gene seed modifications created through the Primarch's master plan. These warriors embodied the Imperium's last hope for survival. Although some chapters initially resisted the introduction of the Primaris Marines, most saw the potential in these formidable new recruits and welcomed them into their ranks. As the Primaris Marines took their places among the chapters, they had specialized equipment to fully utilize their enhanced abilities. As time went on, there was a need for new gear. The Adeptus Astatis technicians and artificers worked tirelessly to create a new line of warriors suited specifically for these superhuman warriors. Among the noticeable inventions was the Arum Pattern Power Sword and the Relic Shield, forming the foundation of the Blade Guard veterans' armaments. The Arum Pattern Power Sword is one of the most distinctive weapons wielded by the Blade Guard veterans. Crafted on the Sacred Forges of Mars, these master crafted power swords are infused with ancient technology and blessed by the Adeptus Mechanicus. Each blade is unique, bearing intricate designs and engravings that tell the history of the chapter and its honored warrior. The Arum Pattern Power Sword is renowned for its exceptional strength and durability, capable of cutting through even the toughest armors and enemies. Its golden hue serves as a symbol of the Blade Guard veterans' valor 
and the Emperor's divine protection. Upon the realization of the potency of the Primera Space Marines, Primera's only chapters began to establish specialized units to make the most of their unique abilities. The Blade Guard veterans emerged as an elite brotherhood, handpicked from the rank of proven Primera Space Marines, who has shown exceptional combat prowess, tactical acumen, and unwavering loyalty to the Imperium. Those Primaris were moved to the first company. With their distinctive war gear and combat doctrines, the Blade Guard veterans were destined to become the vanguards of their respected chapters, leading the charge into the most dangerous and desperate battles. Clad in their ornate Mark X Tacticus pattern power armor, adorned with sacred inscriptions and revered relics, they were a sight to behold and an inspiration to their brethren. For the Blade Guard veterans, there is not much more I can tell you. Their lore kind of ends there. They're relatively new to the Warhammer 40,000 setting and the tabletop. The Blade Guard veterans have only one character. Not, it's not even a named character. It's just a Blade Guard ancient. Some people may say that there's a Blade Guard captain, but they are wrong. It is just a Primaris captain that can be equipped with a power sword and a relic shield. Just because a captain can lead them does not mean they are one of their orders. Just because they have weapons very similar does not mean they are one of their order. There is no Blade Guard captain. There is only a Primaris captain. So the Blade Guards only have one character, which is the Ancient. But with that said, and the lack of lore, I'm going to teach you a little bit about the tabletop and how to use them in Warhammer 40,000 10th edition. First, before we go further, the Blade Guards are meant to take out infantry. They are not meant to go against vehicles. They are meant to take out units like the Guard, or other marines. They are not meant to go against vehicles, tanks, or walkers. They are just very good hardy frontline infantry or infantry character assassins. That is where they really shine. The Blade Guard, they are able to be placed into an Adeptus Astatis force. So any army that is a space marine, you can, w you can use them. The Blade Guards, for their stats, they have a 6 inch move, which is average and normal for all Marines. They have a 4 toughness, which is average and normal for all Marines. They have a 3 plus armor save, which is normal and average for any unit that has power armor. They have 3 wounds which is actually above average for marines. Most marines have two wounds. They have three wounds. So each unit or each model can take three wounds before the model is destroyed. They have a six plus leadership, which is actually a little bit better than most marines. Most marines are seven. They are six. And they have a level one objective control which is a little bit worse than most marines. Most marines have a level 2. Now for their unit formations. A Blade Guard veteran can be placed into a unit of 3 to 6 models. Every unit will have 1 sergeant and up to 5 veterans. Every model at base is equipped with 1 heavy bolter pistol, 1 mastercrafted power sword or weapon, and a storm shield that gives them a 4 plus invulnerable save. In addition, the sergeant can replace their heavy bolter pistol with a neo volkite pistol or a plasma pistol, which greatly enhances their range efficiency. The Blade Guard veterans have two sets of abilities that they can choose to use once per turn during the fight phase. The Sword of the Imperium lets them re-roll any of their melee hit rolls of one. A one is an automatic fail 
so they get a chance to remake that roll. And Shield of the Imperium lets them re-roll any invulnerable save roll of one, which is really good. That is one of the abilities that will make them, it will take them from something kind of low to something kind of high. That's really good and that makes them very, very durable. Now for running them on the tabletop is a unit in the game as a blade guard. This is called the super group. So how the super group is set up, you will have one unit of them of six models, the sergeant with the Neil Volkai pistol. Then you can attach up to three characters and these are the three you can have. You can have a Primaris Captain with a heavy bolter pistol, a Mastercrafted power weapon, and a Relic Shield. A Primaris Lieutenant with a Neo Volkai pistol, Mastercrafted power weapon, and a Storm Shield. Then you can have a Blade Guard Veteran. Blade Guard Veterans, you cannot change their, their setup. So they come as they are. Then, with that unit, you will want to have them in a repulsor tank so you can transport them safely to the front lines or you can push them around back and threaten your opponent's back line. That is your super group. Now for the normal group of the Blade Guard veterans, it's going to be a unit of six guys, six models. You will have the sergeant with the Neo Volkai pistol and then you will use a Primaris chaplain so that will lead your unit. You will place them in a rhino transport. And the whole point of the transport is to move them fastly across the battlefield safely. Because they cannot be hurt as long as they're inside the vehicle. And as long as the vehicle is not destroyed. And with a rhino, it's very cheap on the game. You can put them in there, drive them up front, and... Use the rhinos as kind of a target practice for the enemies, and once they pop the vehicle, your veterans pop out, charge them, and take them out. And with the blade guard, that's kind of how you run them. There's not much more. They're still relatively new units, and they are only specialized for taking out infantry and infantry characters. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Help this little channel grow. I have not done a video like this before. And yeah, I might be saying this quite a lot, but all this stuff is really new to me. So thanks for watching. And if you like it, tell me so I can make more.